Hi, here's another great video from the folks at Diggers Products. Today we are going to introduce you to our RootGuard gopher wire rolls and show you some of their many uses. Soon after our founder, Wayne Morgan, created the original heavy duty basket in 1985, he saw the need for a corresponding product that could protect the rest of your landscape investment, including lawns, raised beds, turf, gravel areas, and more from annoying and expensive gopher damage. With a few modifications on the basket's successfully proven 3 quarter inch hex mesh design, he created root guard gopher wire rolls. For utmost strength and corrosion resistance, the rolls mesh is double galvanized, a process where each wire strand is electroplate galvanized, the strands are woven together, and the mesh is then hot dip galvanized. Root guard gopher wire rolls provide 6 to 10 years of protection even in harsh environments such as underneath lawns. Our rolls come in various sizes, so you can choose the size that is best for your desired application. We have 25 foot long rolls for small jobs and 100 foot long rolls for large jobs. In the 25 foot lengths, we have 2, 3, and 4 foot wide rolls. In the 100 foot lengths, we have 2, 3, 4, and 5 foot wide rolls. You can use root guard gopher wire rolls under any landscape surface that you want to protect from gophers. Natural and artificial turf lawns and athletic fields, in ground and raised planter beds, and gravel and dry set stone areas and paths. Now we'll show you a couple ways that you can use our diggers root guard gopher wire rolls on planter beds. First, gather your tools. You'll need a drill driver, two inch screws, a hammer or mallet, a staple gun, landscape staples, gloves, wooden stakes, and wire shears. Now you're ready to install the gopher wire. For smaller planter boxes, start by laying the box bottom side up. Then attach the wire directly to the bottom edge of the frame with staples. Now roll out the wire and staple to the opposite edge of the box. Cut off the excess wire with the wire shears. Now staple the wire to the sides of the box. You may need to tap all the staples down with the hammer to make sure that the wire is secure. Now flip the box over and fill with soil. You are now ready to plant. When using root guard gopher wire to protect larger turf areas, you should first smooth out the area to be used. Next, place your frame on the ground. Now place the wooden stakes around the perimeter of the frame. Tap all the stakes into position before driving them all the way into the ground. It is easier to start by first securing the screws into the stakes before placing them. Next, drive the stakes in until they are flush with the top of the frame. Attach the stakes to the frame by driving in the screws. Now you're ready to lay out the wire. First, place the wire on the ground, allowing for enough vertical height for folding up the edges and attaching to the inside wall of the frame. Staple the wire to one end of the frame. Then, cut off the excess wire with the wire shears, allowing for enough length to secure it to the inside wall of the frame. Lay the wire as flat to the ground as possible, then staple to the frame. Overlap the seams of adjacent wire courses by a minimum of 2 inches. Staple the loose edges to the inside wall of the frame. Using landscape staples, pin the wire to the ground every 18 inches at the perimeter and every 24 inches at the interior overlaps. For any area where the wire is not flat against the ground, add additional staples and flatten the wire at any crease if necessary so that the wire is in contact with the ground. Now, completely cover the wire with a layer of soil one to one and a half inches deep. You are now ready to plant your sod, knowing that it is protected against burrowing gophers. 